So I figured out what happened there. I turned off my function keys, which meant that when I went to run it, I hit the hot key for um, accidentally printing something out. So let's see. Turn that. Yeah, let's close that. There's our browser. So yeah, I... Okay. So there, we've run it, and we have our other lists. Okay, my other list, my list, my list, my... So we have the same... So we've got my... So what we've got here, conceptually, is... Right? My list... My other list and my alias and let's say this list is stored at the original list is stored at 0x123 0x123 my alias because we did my alias my alias is equal to my list that stores 0x123 in over here so however when i did the slicing it created a new list let's say it's say it's at 456 and so the actual memory locations don't actually matter, but that's the point. But but that's where we end up over here. So we'll see though that if we do print um, my list is equal to my other list. Sorry, my alias first, and then do this my other list. We'll get both true. They're 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 the same because they have the same items. They're equivalent, but. If I change this to is, true, false, because the is tests for the different memory locations. Okay. So that is pretty much, so again, this may seem a bit weird. Your textbook does go over this in, in pretty nice detail. Um, and it just takes some experimenting around on your own to get used to. Okay, the two big concepts, let's go ahead and run this down before we go on to the, um, the file reading portion of this, uh, of this. Okay, the two big things about this is that pretty much everything is immutable except for lists. Okay, lists... You can change. And we'll see also dictionaries when we learn that in about a week. You can change those as well. But pretty much everything else stays the same. Um, and only by using very specific ways of, of doing things like uh, append or delete or, you know, the index subscript operation. Uh, which, you know, so if I say, if I say like my list zero my list index zero is equal to whatever that will change the list pretty much nothing else can be changed with that the other thing is memory locations the thing on the left gets uh, get is a variable it stores the memory location on the right the thing on the right gets stored in the the memory location on the right gets stored in the thing in the name in the left okay so with that short video, let's go ahead and move on to file reading.